Welcome back everyone to Learning by Teaching. We're in statics and we are going to do problem 564, okay? It says, determine the components of reaction at the fixed support A. The 400, 500, and 600 Newton forces are parallel to the X, Y, and Z axis respectively, okay? Now we have our tube over here that is supported by a fixed support at point A, okay? Now, the tube goes up all the way into the Z line, then it comes all into the Y, and then it has some space in the X line, okay? Now we have this 400 newtons that is being applied at this part of the tube, then we have 500 newtons and 600 newtons going straight down, okay? So in order to determine the component of reactions of these a, we're going to redraw the body diagram and we're going to represent this fixed support with the, all the reactions that it does, okay? So we're going to have a free body diagram and so first of all, I'm going to make my X, Y, and Z so something similar to that now my tube goes up, then it has a total only in the y, and then now it only goes something in the x direction, so it has this shape, right? So we're done with this kind of x, y, and z partition. Now, which forces do we have? Well, I have three forces and three moments at my point A. So I'll have an X component, okay? I'll have a Y component. So this one is AX, this one is AY. And then I will also have a positive AZ, okay? I also have three moments. So I'm gonna have a moment on each one of them. So it's gonna be moment of A in the X, I'll also have moment of A in the Z, and I'll have moment of A in the Y, okay? Now, I also have my 400 Newtons. That is parallel to my x-axis. I'll have my, over here, my 500 Newtons. So this guy is 500 Newtons. And at last, I have my 600 Newtons going straight down. So, parallel to my Z axis. Okay, now we redraw this guy and we put all the support, um, all the reactions of this fixed support, okay? So now what we need to do is that we're gonna do the summatory of forces in the X direction. Okay, so we got Summatory of forces in the x direction. Okay, what do I have in the x direction? Well, I have these 400 newtons that is going negative. So I got negative 400 newtons minus this ax. I draw it negative to with respect to the x-axis because now the ne the positive goes to my left. Okay, but in this case I draw it to the right. So negative ax, and I think that's all we have for x because. AC goes in the Z, AY goes to the Y, 600 goes to the C, and 500 goes to the Y. So this all should be equal to zero. Basically, we can solve for AX. AX is going to be to negative 400 newtons, okay? So we found our first reaction. The negative only means that I assume the wrong direction. Now, we can do the summatory of forces. In the y direction, okay, what do I have in the y direction? Well, I have a y, so this is my y direction going this way. So I got positive a y. Okay, what else do I have? Plus 500. Newtons, that is going in the y direction. And I have nothing else, so this should be equal to zero. Now a y will be equal to negative. 500 newtons in my case. All it means is AY is going to the negative 
direction okay so we find we found our second reaction then let's find the summatory of forces in the z direction what do we have well i have 600 newtons going down so negative 600 plus az going up so i have a z and this should be equal to zero that's all i have so basically we will find out that az it's equal to positive 600 okay and this is my third reaction so what do we have left well moment of ax moment of az moment of a1 so guess what we need to do the summatory of moments we'll do the summatory of moments with respect to the x axis Okay, what do I have? Well, I will have the reaction moment of A with, with respect to the x-axis. Okay, now, which forces causes me this tube to have a moment? Well, AX, AY, and AZ are all touching my x-coordinate, so they will have zero distance. Now, if we check at these 400 newtons, they, they are acting parallel to my x axis so it has nothing perpendicular we're looking for a perpendicular force and then we check these 500 newtons well these 500 newtons are perpendicular so it will cause a negative 500 i'll explain why negative in one second multiply by the distance well first of all why negative well if i had a tube like this and i'm pushing it this way it's gonna rotate clockwise so it's rotating like this right so we're gonna make clockwise negative now what is the distance between this point on the tube and my x-axis well my x-axis is in here what is the distance between these guys well if we check that out it's equal to one meter so it's equal to one minus 600 multiply by the distance this 600 force multiplied by the distance well why is it negative again same concept so we have our tube like this and we're pushing it like that so we took our tube it looks something like that we're pushing it more like this okay so it's going to be clockwise now what is the distance well the distance is actually the same because this realize this just moves a little bit into the x direction like this but the distance between my axis is actually the same, okay? Which is one meter. And all this should be equal to zero. Now we suffer the reaction moment of A with respect to the x axis. We will just need to add these two guys up. And then this is 500 plus 600. That gives me a thousand and a hundred newtons per meter. Now, what about the summatory of moments with respect to the y-axis? Okay, well, A, AX, AY, and AC also are at my y-axis, so all of them are going to be zero. Now I'll have the moment of the reaction A with respect to the y-axis. Now these 400 newtons are acting perpendicular to this y-axis, okay? And what is the distance between these two guys? It's going to be 0 0.75. So we're going to have negative 400 multiplied by 0 0.75. Okay. Then I'll have this 600 that is going to be multiplied by 0 0.75. So it's going to be also negative. We got negative 600 multiplied by 0 0.75 and all this should be equal to zero okay so at the moment of a1 is going to be equal to the addition of these two multiplications okay 400 multiplied by 0 0.75 will give me 300 and 600 multiplied by 0 0.75 will give me 475 so if we 450 so if we add up 350 that will give me 750 newtons per meter okay 
So we found the moment reaction with respect to x, the moment reaction with respect to y. All we're left is to find the summatory of moments with respect to the z-axis. Okay, we know that we're going to have the reaction of A with respect to the moment reaction of A with respect to the z-axis. Okay, we know AX, AY, AC, same story. They're relying on my origin, so no distance with any axis. Now, what happens with this 400? Well, this 400 is going exactly to my, also to my z-axis, so there is no distance. This 600 is acting parallel, so it's never going to cause any reaction moment with respect to my z-axis. And this 500, if we go backwards, it's going to touch this z-axis too. So basically, we have that the moment reaction of A with respect to the Z is equal to zero. And we found our six reactions. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys have any questions or any comments, please just post it down below and I'll see you guys in the next video.